There are two types of people when it comes to sleeping. Light sleepers who wake up from the slightest sounds, even a breeze can wake them up. The other type is heavy sleepers, those who won't wake up even if the whole house they live in got bombed or a hurricane passed next to them. Hell, they won't even wake up if World War III started. These two types of people exist in our lives, and each of us can be one of the two types. Hello, this is Jordan from Midnight Thoughts. In today's episode, we will answer the question, why are some people heavy sleepers while others are light sleepers? Before we begin, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and to turn on the notifications so you don't miss our videos. In the beginning, to understand the difference between light sleep and heavy sleep, we should understand how sleep occurs and understand the stages that we pass through once we lay on bed till waking up. It is agreed among scientists that during sleep we go through five main stages. The first stage is the shortest stage because it lasts for only a few minutes. In this stage, we are half asleep half awake, where our body starts to prepare itself for the following stages. So the breath rate, heart rate, and brain wave activity decrease, and the eye movement decreases as well. In addition to that, the muscles begin to relax, and during this stage it's easy to wake the sleeping person up. Then comes the next stage, which lasts for a longer period of time and can last from 30 to 60 minutes. And during this period, our respiratory rate, heart rate, and brainwave activity begin to slow significantly. The muscles relax, and the eye movement stops completely. And from here, the third stage begins, which is the first stage of deep sleep. Then comes the fourth stage, which is the deepest stage of the sleep cycle. In this stage, it's difficult to wake the sleeping person up. This fourth stage is really important in maintaining our health. It's even called the recovery stage. During this stage, our body performs more than one vital function. The kidneys filter the blood, the wounds heal rapidly, and the body rebuilds and renews the cells, and the important hormones begin to be secreted. Our blood sugar is balanced, the metabolism is optimized, and finally, the immune system is activated and it removes any toxins from the body. And the four stages that we've mentioned can be grouped under one big stage, which is the non-rapid eye movement sleep. And by the end of these stages, the respiratory rate starts to increase, and the heart rate and blood pressure also increase. And your eyes start to move everywhere rapidly. Also, the brainwave activity is at its highest, the same activity as when you are awake. And this is what makes dreams occur at this stage. And once the five stages are completed, the sleep cycle keeps on repeating, and it can be repeated four to five times per night. And this depends on the sleeping person and their age. After this long introduction, what does this have to do with heavy sleepers and light sleepers? The key difference between heavy sleepers and light sleepers is the amount of time that each person takes during each stage. And, unexpectedly, the number of hours that the person sleeps has nothing to do with this. What makes this difference is the time that each person takes during the deep sleep and the light sleep stages. It's very common that one person can sleep six hours and have enough sleep because they had enough time during the third and the fourth stage, which are called deep sleep. And another person can sleep for nine hours and wake up feeling tired and wanting to sleep more because they spent most of their time sleeping in the light sleep stages, which are the first and the second stages. So, if you spend more time during the light sleep period, you are a light sleeper. And if you spend more time during the deep sleep period, you are a heavy sleeper. And as a rule, young people tend to spend more time during deep sleep, unlike old people who spend less time during this period. So, old people are usually light sleepers. Our sleeping pattern doesn't only depend on the time spent during each stage. There are also other factors that play a great role in determining our sleep pattern. One of these factors is the sensitivity to sounds. The sleep pattern varies greatly according to how interactive people are with noise and their response to it. So, people who are more sensitive to sounds have lighter sleep than other people. Also, the genetic factors play a big role in this pattern. So, if one of the parents is a heavy sleeper, 
you may be a heavy sleeper too, and vice versa. And also, our lifestyle plays a role in the sleep pattern. And the most famous example for this is the excessive drinking of caffeine, whether coffee or tea. Both of them have negative effects on our sleep rates. So do all people who suffer from heavy sleep or light sleep face health problems? The truth is, it turns out that heavy sleep is significantly beneficial for our health, unlike what most of us expected. And this is for the reasons that we've mentioned, which occur during deep sleep, also called the recovery phase. But this doesn't change the fact that heavy sleep also has drawbacks. One of the harms that heavy sleep causes is an increase in obesity rates and an increase in the rate of heart diseases. This is in addition to the fact that you may be late or miss a lot of important stuff while sleeping, such as meetings in the company you work for, or being late for college, which I'm sure happened a lot. On the other side, light sleep has more problems than heavy sleep. That's because the body is deprived of all the benefits that occur during deep sleep. And in the end, whether you're a heavy sleeper or a light sleeper, there are some tips that may help you sleep better. One piece of advice is to stick to a consistent sleep schedule, where you go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on your days off, because this helps your body get into a rhythm, where this consistency strengthens your body's internal clock, making it easier to wake up early naturally. Another thing you can do is set a bedtime routine. You can assign the last half an hour before sleep to do something that you love. You can read a book that you like, write a journal, or take a hot shower. What matters is that you should get yourself away from any physical or mental stress. Also, try to keep the room temperature as cool as possible. The decrease in body temperature helps you sleep for longer periods of time. And the last thing is to try to make your mattress and pillow as comfortable as possible. And investing in your bed, mattress, office chair, and items where you spend most of your time on is something worth devoting some of your budget to, because this will benefit you in the long term in a way you can't imagine. One more thing is to block any external stimuli, such as sound and light, and to hang blackout curtains and to make your bedroom the furthest room from the street. And finally, keep any electronic device away from the bedroom, your television, your computer, and your mobile phone, as they all emit blue light that inhibits the production of the melatonin hormone, which is responsible for regulating the sleep cycle and has an important role in regulating our circadian rhythm. And with this, hopefully we've answered the question, why are some people heavy sleepers while others are light sleepers? That's it, we're done for today. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and share it. And if this is your first time on the channel, here we answer the questions that may cross your mind while lying in bed after midnight. And as usual, if a question comes to your mind in the middle of the night that confuses you, write it for us in the comments so we can answer it for you. Most of the episodes we make now are taken from the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. See you in the next episode. Bye.